Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial from Crystal Dots. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the fingerprint sensor on your HP laptop. I have here the EliteBook 8460p, and I believe this method will also work on other HP laptops, especially the EliteBook series. However, if this method does not work for you, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be glad to uh, suggest other methods depending on your laptop and your system. One more thing, if um, you, if this video helped you at all, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe. Okay, let's get started. We're going to the search. I have here Windows 10, so we're going to click on search and type in device manager to see the available drivers. You can see here I have the biometric uh, driver and I have the validity sensor. If you do not have this driver, biometric or validity sensor, don't worry because we're going to uninstall this, this, this driver anyway. This driver is provided by default from Windows and it does not support, unfortunately, it does not support Windows Hello. Uh, as you can see, it's already installed, but, but if I go to uh, Windows Hello to enable the fingerprint login, if I type in here Hello and click on Setup Fingerprint, um, you can see, as you can see here, Windows Hello isn't available on this device because this driver, um, uh, for some reason, it does not work with Windows Hello. So what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall this uh, driver, Validity Sensor, and uninstall another one uh, from uh, Synaptix. And I'll show you how to do that later. But first of all, we're going to uninstall this one. We're going to click on right click and uh, uninstall this. And we're going to click on delete and click on uninstall. After uninstalling, we're going to uh, reload this. As you can see, it added another unknown device. This is the um, fingerprint scanner without a driver. What we did here is uninstall the driver. We need also to uninstall the software related to that driver. So we're going to add and delete pro and remove programs. And we're going to uninstall the software uh, called Validity Sensor, if we have it. If we do not have it, we ju we're just going to restart the computer. We have the Validity uh, Fingerprint Sensor. We'll click on Uninstall 2. I'll click on Yes. Okay, now that we have uh, uninstalled this, we're going to restart the computer and uh, I'll show you how to download and install the new Synaptix driver. Okay, now that we have restarted the computer, uh, I'm going to check again the device manager to see that there is no um, biometric driver anymore. As you can see, there's no driver and we have here an added unknown device. So now we're going to the website, this website, I'll provide it, the link in the description. Um, we're going to download this driver called Synaptix WBF Fingerprint Driver. We're going to click on here. I've already downloaded actually, so it's already on my desktop. It's right here. We're going to click on it and install it. I go next. I accept. Then next. Next. I've already installed it. I'm just going to click yes again. Then next. If you do not restart the computer after uninstalling the previous driver, this um, this installation wizard will ask you to restart the computer before installing the new driver. So you might as well restart it before uh, trying this driver. Okay, finally, we're going to click on finish. And as you can see, it did not add a biometric device, so we're going to do it manually. Um, we're going to click on unknown device, the second one, I think. I mean, if you choose the wrong one, it will show an exclamation mark on the driver. So just uninstall it uh, normally and choose another unknown device. So um, I know that it's the second one that is related to the fingerprint sensor. We're going to click on the second one, then click on update and browse my computer browse my computer and then click on let me pick and then click on biometric devices the second one 
and choose the first option here in this list with the, the PID equal 003D and click on next. I'm going to click on yes. And then close. As you can see, it's, it's working now. It's biometric devices with a new driver from Synaptix. If, as I said, if, if it shows an exclamation mark, just right click on it and install it without uh, deleting all of this. Just uninstall it normally and choose the uh, another unknown device. Okay, now that we've uh, installed the new driver, we're going to Windows Hello to set up our fingerprint. We're going to click on, type in on search Hello, and it will show Set Up Fingerprint Sign In. And now as you can see, Windows Hello is enabled. Um, I've already installed fingerprint before, and it kept my uh, previous uh, fingerprint, so I'm going to click on Remove. If you install the driver for the first time, you'll find it like this, so we're going to click on Set Up. And then click on get started it will ask you for a pin code it is mandatory to use the pin code as another method because uh, sometimes um, for some reason the, the fingerprint sensor might not work and you need an alternative method to log into your computer so just enter in your pin code and it will ask you to swipe uh, on your uh, fingerprint so i'm going to swipe in and it will ask you to swipe again so i'm going to keep swiping until it registers the new uh, fingerprint Okay, all set. I'm gonna close. Uh, I'm gonna click on close. You can also add another finger, or I'm gonna just click on close. And as you can see, everything is set up. I'm gonna close my computer. And after restarting my computer, it will ask you for the fingerprint to log into your computer as a first method. Then, if if the user does not enter the fingerprint, it can use the the pin code or the regular uh, password. One more thing that I really recommend you to do is to clean uh, regularly to clean your fingerprint scanner on your laptop. Um, avoid using any wet cloth. Just use a clean, dry cloth to you to clean your. Um, fingerprint sensor from dust regularly okay guys that was all it for today if you have any questions please post them down below and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech videos otherwise thanks for watching goodbye